Hello. 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 Good afternoon. <laughs> it is Saturday. Is it Sunday then? Saturday. Oh. And we thought we'd have a little um, tootling to town to walk along the riverbank. I'm not sure we've lived here all these years and I don't think I've ever, well I can't remember maybe the last time I did it was before we, we were together but mm. as a family we've never walked right along here and back the other way. We're going to probably cross over the Millennium Bridge and walk along the other side of the river with yep. all the posh flats and houses. And um, it's really nice and mild today isn't it? Is, it is, yeah. About 13 I think today. Tiny, tiny cold touch in the air but that's all. It's, it's, it's really, really mild. Yeah, really it's really nice. nice. But it, because the river's been up, everywhere's a little bit. Yeah, it's very muddy. Wet and muddy. Very damp. But I'll show you. I'll show you the bridge. It's just right down the bottom, over there. We're just walking along the, uh, the river bank. Yeah, I think I might give Teaser a bath when I get in. Yeah, wise decision. Wise decision. I've done my back in as well. I've been thinking about it. I've been jumping up and down and and in the back of the garden, trying to chase Teaser, etc. And I've done it. Really hurt. I put Volter all on and everything. So I'm just I'm limping my way around. <laughs> yeah. Oh. For children of the 1980s and 1970s, it's the saint. I think it was. <laughs> There'll be a plaque of yeah. some kind. In honour of the millennium. Yeah. Somewhere. And this is Bishop Thorpe Road, commonly known as Bishy Road uh, around here. It was featured on location, location, location as one of the greatest places to live if you're going to be coming to York. And the sights and sounds and the smells are really, really vibrant when there's not actually a pandemic on. It's really, really good. There's lots of different varieties of restaurants and butchers and bakers and groceries and everything you can do to shop down here. So it's had quite a lot of publicity with the local council and the local folks that live around here. So I'll give it to you, Bishy Road. Go to this side, you see the Sainsbury's local. Now, when I used to live around this neck of the woods, just further down the road, me and my sister used to call up there all the time for our tea and our dinner and all our little supplies. But it was called Jackson's back then. Yeah. That's where we used to stumble into <coughs> our cider and our crisps and our. We used to obviously we used to eat we get bolognese all the time. Really? Back in the day, they used to buy frozen beef mince and then do um, spaghetti bolognese. I'm a bit hungover. There we go. Oh, good old days. In fact, let's take you to where I used to live. The flats. <laughs> I've taken me to the It's really warm. It is. Yeah. We're masking. I've rolled in. my sleeves up under here now if I've got big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us all about this park. So this is Scarcroft Road, uh, Scarcroft Park off Scarcroft Road. 
and it leads to East Mount Road where I used to live in a block of flats. And me and my sister, every now and again when it was really hot, we used to come down here and sunbathe. But then we'd get a little bit like annoyed that it was full of kids and people and we were like, oh, oh yeah. some bit in peace, let's go. I wonder what a kid's doing so, in a play park. Got no rights at all. So you know, every now and again when it was sunny, we'd come down here and just sit and chill. Yeah. So let's take you to the... Uh, to your flats. To the flatters. <laughs> and this is where I used to live. Woo! Macmillan House. So first of all I had one flat and then my sister moved in next door to me. Or next door but one to me. Remember. And then I briefly moved away to a spin And then I came back and then my sister moved into the bottom flat. And luckily there's another flat next door to where I used to live that came available. So then I moved into that flat. Yeah. So between us we've had actually four flats in the same building. But brilliant being in the same building together. Um, so we've been at home in separate bedrooms again. Yeah. Right in central town. So my, my second flat. Just what before there. was the two windows before it. Yep. That's the easy one to, uh, to remember, isn't it? And when we were caught in, there was many times that we would stumble into here yeah. <laughs> at night time. And you would leave the window open to hear the... So the KFC literally over the road and there was a pizza place there, wasn't there? Macmillan's and Merlin's. Yeah. yeah. They still own these flats as well, so we, we knew all of them very well. Still do? Um, yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. Still do? From my early DJ scenes? Yeah, so, I've got good friends. I, lo I used to love living in the central town. It's fab. Everyone does. Especially when you're young. It's brilliant. So that's the KFC there. We used to go to all the time. That used to be the castle takeaway. That one there is now. Some chips and that there is the Odeon, and you can still see the Odeon there. Yeah, one less a little. Yeah, the E and the Odeon just to, to yeah. still it's still there, but it's now called Everyman Cinema. So on Blossom Street and approaching Nunnery Lane, and there's a little nunnery just on the right hand side here. And me and my sister used to see the same little nun all the time. We used to go in and out of town or to work and things. We'd be like, I want to see the little nun. We'd like, look. There she was, she was just really yeah. great walking. Yeah, yeah. She kind of like glanced up at us. And um, we sometimes used to wonder whether she was real, whether we could just, us, just us could see her. She was so like just there every time we thought of her. Oh, she was really sweet. So yeah, the nunnery, I think they used to have a little cafe in there as well. And this here is just especially, and um, for one person only, and that is Matt from M&T, who are fans of ours, they subscribe to our channel, we watch them, they watch us, and he's a big fan of Dog. Well, we've just had some very delicious fish and chips from this place here. There you go, <laughs> reach it, there you go. Which is the Micklegate Fisheries. Really nice, the fish is... Ben had battered sausage. The fish is sweet, it's lovely, isn't it? Mm -mm, it is, yeah. Sweet fish. Sweet fish. And then uh, batter sausage. How was that? Lovely. Mm. Very Well nice. needed. Well needed. And just very nice. But and Tease has had a few little treats as well. We just saw them through the window, don't we? Yeah, oh. You see it, you want it. Mm. I like I it. it. I want I it. it. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, it was many, many nights that we used to start the evening off. Ziggy's nightclub. <laughs> we would finish it off even before it started. <laughs> yeah, up the stairs.
So here we are then, and one heat patch later and a hot bath. That's got bad back. <laughs> it just hurts. Oh. Anyway, so we're ending off the evening with, what are we ending the evening with? We're ending off the evening with Anton, look at the I just come out of the shower. Anton Deck, it's Saturday Night Takeaway, woo! Anton Deck, who's on the TV. We are. We're in the night with the start of the series of Andrew Jack's Saturday Night Takeaway. I, I would lean forward, but it hurts. I'm having pulled pork, the leftover bread from last night, and a big carbalicious weekend. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a new word we've invented? Carbalicious. Sorry, carbalicious. Like and salad. So, yeah. So we're going to tuck into it. So we're going to say goodnight. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Till the night, then. Bye. Bye. Bye.